had a, a nice game against Illinois, scoring 11 points. And Louisiana Tech will counter with this five, including Isaiah Crawford, who had 15 points and seven rebounds at Alabama. There's Eric Conkle. And here's the Louisiana Tech starting five. Several familiar names, Chris. This is somewhat of a veteran ball club expected to again approach what it did last year. Oh, bringing back a ton of great pretty well from outside, though, Lynn. He is one of those Swiss Army Knife players who mm -hmm. can get it done at several different spots. Lofton guarding, and McKenna scores over him. 12 and a half points and 13.2 rebounds. And as Chris mentioned earlier, only one other player in the country had more rebounds per game than McKinnis. Lofton dribbling with the right hand and scores with the left. What a smooth look from the big man, Lynn. Kenneth Lofton, a 6'7 freshman. He packs 275 pounds. Maybe a couple of whoppers more than that. And he can move and he is strong. But there's no defense against that perfect this player, but he'll have plenty of opportunities still. The pass to the wing is stolen by Evans, and he scores despite the contact. First bucket for the redshirt freshman from Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson State on that last bucket leaves. Crawford for the Louisiana Tech lead. Swish! Jackson State in the dark uniforms. Louisiana Tech in white. Williams backing away, nearly took steps. Hicks forces that one. Nice block out, and Evans is there for the easy layup. 16 points and three rebounds off the bench. A left handed Swisher knocked down. Javius McKinnis on the receiving end, and he knows what to do with it. Six for the senior from Pearl, Mississippi. Louisiana Tech trails by three. How about that ankle breaking move and a foul? Games, too, so it's not like they're out on the road the entire time, but still back and forth a lot, a lot of time in hotels and on planes. It will wear on these young men. That pass is easily stolen by Stewart, and he flushes it with the left hand. Great hit. Christian for three. Rebound hits the deck. Willis takes it inside, can't do anything with it, but Green does. Going back. 
baseline, kicks it out to Moore. He'll take it inside and play it in. Being in the top 40 is pretty darn good, and uh, they were the best in Conference USA defensively last year. And coach of the year in this league, also finalist for the Jim Phelan National Coach of the Year honor. Green for three. And he'll get the roll. Green battles hard for it. Jackson State with a chance for the last bucket. Taylor will not get it to go. There was That'll be a goal ten on Will. A goal ten on year right. Make sure everybody's good. We're not going to be elevated problems. Christian with the length of the court pass from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Fadeaway jumper over Lofton is good by that man again, McKinnis. And Chris, you talked about it in the first half. That's an element of his game that he's worked on. He's improved. Lofton down low. Muscles at home. Again, it's like... It's great to feel this atmosphere, have the hoop troop behind us. Love this place. Well done by Williams. 44-34, Bulldogs lead. Deep three, quick release, and it nestles over the rim by Ken Evans. That put it's really one of the more coveted players coming out of the transfer portal into this season. Well, his debut against Alabama produced 16 points off the bench. Let's see if this one counts. Crawford scored. And the bucket counts. Nine for Isaiah. Another player who had a fantastic debut and now actually give the ball to Jackson State here underneath the hoop. But they counted the bucket, did they not? They did. Ken Evans. The outlet to Willis. No defense for that. Lofton nearly brought the basket sanction down. Eight for Junior. Last year he averaged 12 and seven and a half rebounds. Four. Nice move to avoid contact. Put on the move. Crawford all the way. Stuck at 52-43 for a while. Yeah, long while. Pull up jumper. Good. From a step behind the free throw line. That one knocked down by Isaiah. Wades in to get the rebound. That's the kind of things you do when you're one of the best rebounders in the country. You find your way to the ball in that situation. James with the floater. Off the back iron. Rebound hits the deck. Picked up by McKenna's. Here's Evans. Three ball in the air and a big one for Jackson State and it counts. Jonas James, guess what? That's his throws for Lofton. Who's got 10 points now. Six in this half. Moore, a little pop step and jump and lays it in. And Moore is the player they need. has come back into the game. Remember, he's playing with four fouls against the offensive rebound and scores. Christian won't shoot. There's all kind of contact. No whistle. Bucket by Archibald. Archibald, first bucket of the second half. He survived a lot of contact. There was no whistle forthcoming. Back to back going forward, but right now it's all about the next one minute and 54 seconds. It's not uh, about worrying who's next, although fans certainly can look ahead as the Bulldogs are back home inside the Thomas Assembly Center Monday against Jarvis Christian. Jackson State goes on its third road trip of the season. They will head to Cal Baptist on Tuesday. The third of 12 consecutive road trips. Sir. Guys.
steps out and Jay Buell and Warhawks. Jackson State has to score in a hurry. This for three. Got it! Evans drills it from deep straight away. Time and time again. We have been on the call for a couple of those rare losses, though, then. It's amazing the energy that Greg gets drained out of this place, those unexpected feats. Lawson Jr. throws it away, and who comes back? It's Evans, I believe. My goodness, Lofton Jr. could not get a... McGinnis shoots from 16, gets his own rebound, and puts it back in. Of course he gets a big rebound. Six. The sophomore from Dallas. Now, no matter what happens, Chris, with this free throw, it's a one-possession game. Williams hits the second one. It's down to this possession. Goes the win of the tie. Evans on the move. Lost the ball. Dribble through defender after defender, and the ball came out of his possession. It's the active hands of Kenneth Lofton winning this game for the Bulldogs. Knocks it away as JSU was driving, looking to tie this one up, send us to overtime.